welcome back to the channel. If you are here for the first time, hello! This is the place where I like to share you my life experiences in regards to health, wellness, fitness, what you can expect on this channel. There's gonna be food recipes, there's gonna be training tips, there's gonna be some travel videos, there's gonna be vlogs, there's gonna be reviews of things that I use and hopefully they will benefit you too. But for today, it's gonna to be a training tip video. So I just finished an upper body day. This is a tip which I really, really want to share with you and that is how to warm up your upper body day properly. It's a no-brainer. When you warm up properly, you're going to A, avoid injuries, and two, you're gonna mobilize the joints a lot more, and three, you're gonna activate the right muscles so that they can prime you for your bigger movements during your workout. I definitely have had a few times where my shoulder and my scapula area was affected because I did not warm up properly. So I don't want you to have the same problem as me. The other problem was I just didn't know how to warm up at all. I was just like, okay, let's just go straight into the, <laughs> into the exercise. Worse still is when you hop onto a treadmill and you think that you are actually warming up your body for your workout and it's an upper body day. Does that make any sense at all? You are gonna do an upper body day, but you end up going to a treadmill to warm up. It, <laughs> technically, it would not really be as efficient compared to you doing some of the dynamic uh, movements that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So without further ado, let's go through some of my favorite warm-ups for my upper body day. And hopefully this is gonna help you next time when you do your upper body day program and it's gonna help you activate the right muscles so you get the most out of your workout. Lego. The first warm-up I want to share with you is the YTW. This is a great multi-part exercise that targets the muscles of your upper back that stabilizes your shoulder blades, which are your trapezius and your rhomboids. This will also strengthen your rotator cuff and all of your muscles essential for good posture. As you saw the first movement, my arms were like in a Y position, like as if you're doing the song YMCA, then followed by the T, which is what I'm doing over here. When doing the T motion, you want to ensure your arms are in a straight line across your back that we with the tendency for your arms to go downwards and you think that it's a straight line ensure that you're squeezing the shoulder blades together and not allowing your shoulders to elevate the final one here is the w so it's like as if you're going from a y and then you're bringing the elbows backwards so this move you're squeezing your lats the second warm-up I like to call is the upside down Y and this targets the lower lats. Cues for this exercise are similar to the YTW. I squeeze my glutes and suppress my shoulders down and the palms for this are facing upwards. Now the next move is kind of a combination between the Y and the upside down Y. So you see I'm actually adding some rotation here where my hands go all the way up like as if I'm swimming and then I twist the wrist and the shoulder towards the bum. Warm up four is scapular retraction. You can do this either as a warm up or even as a finisher for your upper body day. Cues to remember you want to go into a full dead hang, that means a full stretch, and then you have to consciously retract your scapula area. Another tip is to engage your core so your whole body is not swinging all over the place. A person who explains incorporating scapular re education exercises very well is my coach Benjamin Siong from Australian Strength Performance. I'm going to leave you the link of his explanation in the caption below, so give it a click. The fifth warm is a 90 degrees isometric hold. I picked this up from Coach Eugene Teo. To do this exercise, get a bench, a dumbbell which you can't lift, and you are going to act like as if you are pushing the dumbbell into the bench. So you see, I rotated my arm into the dumbbell. After doing this for 20-30 seconds, then I'm going to rotate the opposite direction. In doing this warm-up, I found that my shoulder area and also my lats were very well activated. To get the full explanation and probably a much better one, hear it from the man himself, Coach Eugene Teo on Mind Pump TV. I'm going to leave you the link in the caption below. Warm up six, I call this the forward pull, which is also another great way to warm up your rotator cuff. I begin with my elbow in line with my shoulder and it's in a 90 degree position. Then I stretch my arm all the way out. I retract back only my scapula and bring my arm back into the 90 degree position as you see over here. Cues I give for myself is to make sure my shoulders are square and I suppress my shoulders downward. By doing single arm, this is a great way to find out which muscle is not activating as efficiently as the other. And for me, it is my left lat. 
Warm up seven shoulder dislocation. Just get any kind of stick and make sure that your arms are straight. There will be the tendency to bend the elbows and that is due to tightness at the chest area. When you do this exercise, play around with the distance of your hands on the stick. You'll find that the narrower it is, the harder the movement will get. Warm up eight is the band pull apart. Simple exercise, but a genius one because this move strengthens the muscle in your upper back, stabilize the muscles in your shoulder joint, improve your posture, and help you for the three big lifts, your bench press, squat, and deadlift. There are many ways you can do this exercise. You can use it as a warm-up at the beginning of your program, or you can use it as active recovery, or you can even use it as an upper back finisher at the end of your workout. Okay, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you do give those movements a try. And if you found that it is helping your upper body day, do tell me in the comments below. In fact, if you have a particular upper body day warm up that you like to do, tell me too. And in fact, send me a DM on Instagram because I would like to see it. And who knows, I may actually use it for myself as well, just for my workout. I love trying out new things and also um, learning from others at the same time. Always think of the intention of of the exercise. Is it what muscle group that you actually want to work on? What is it you actually want to grow? What is it you want to target? And hopefully by doing these moves, you're going to avoid any kind of injury for yourself. Okay guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it encourages me. And also, especially if it did help you for your next upper body day. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's gonna be more stuff thrown at you and click on the bell for notifications. You can also find me on all my social mediums over here. And that is where you can so DM me and tell me what kind of upper body day warm-ups that you do for yourself and I will try it over here too. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video and as always, make the gains be forever in your favor. There's gonna be some travel videos, there's gonna be vlogs, because... <coughs>